G'day, Rick here with a, another video and today we're going to be looking at Obsidian. Now one of the best concepts that can be used with Obsidian or in note making generally is consistency. Not only consistency in putting new notes into your PKM as regularly as you possibly can but also in how they are structured. Now the structure of notes can certainly evolve over time as your needs change and your personal needs are identified with how the notes are structured, but it's not going to happen every second day. So having a properly structured note to work with on a regular basis is well worthwhile. So what we're going to look at today, I'm going to share with you my note template. I'm going to show you how it's structured and why this works for me. Righto. So Obsidian has a core plugin for templates. There is a community one that's a lot more powerful, but it's not necessary for the sort of work that we're looking at doing. So to set that up, uh, all you really need to do first instance is actually make sure that you've got a folder to put your templates in, which you can do by just clicking on the plus button here, which will set up a new folder for you. Uh, I have already done that. So then you go to your settings down in the bottom left hand corner. Look at your core plugins, go down here to templates, and then it will ask you first and foremost for the template folder location. If we click there, you can see that it pops up, click on templates, and that's done. Okay, so now we're ready to go with the note template. So the first thing to do is you set up a new note in the templates folder, or you can set it up somewhere else if you like and just move it there later but it will have to end up in the templates folder otherwise it won't be able to be used so I've created this earlier or as I as I say on TV here's one I prepared earlier uh, and this is how I have structured my note template in the head matter I have up which is the direction that the notes go in the hierarchical structure of obsidian my obsidian vault It'll be the next one up. So if this is a map of content, it might go up to the home note. If it's a base note, it might go up to a map of content. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a note that I've highlighted from a book, it might go up to the note on the book. So that's, that's the direction flowing upwards. The tags are obviously for whether it's an article, whether it's a book note, whether it's about learning, if it's a concept or an idea, whatever tags you might happen to be using. The date is, uh, you'll see, embraced by curly braces uh, and will auto-populate what the date is when you create a, note, a new note using the template. Alias is a rather powerful feature within Obsidian and allows you to put in there you know, misspellings, plurals, other ways that you might like to find this note. A subject for a different video. Again, we've got some curly braces here with the title in, uh, inside them. And what that does is that when we invoke the note template later on, providing we have given it a title up here in the heading, it will put the title in, in there in a heading one. Then there are the uh, headings for the note, uh, what sparked the note, the links to any online content, so that, so that there's... You're not, they're not buried in the note. And then the note itself, as it's pretty obvious, but change the heading, yes. The edit is a place that, it's a placeholder I use simply for future amendments to the note or several notes where I can search for a whole heap of notes and then use find and replace to um, put additional notes into several notes at once. But again, uh, advanced use, another subject for a future video. Finally, other ideas that are sparked from the note. Hopefully, while you've been working on your note, it will give you other ideas which you can put in here. Always a good idea to provide links with them, put them in the square braces. And I even go and set those notes up so that they're already established so that I don't lose the links and, and lose the ideas. I'll put some tags in too. Finally, down the bottom, I have an image here, uh, which is just an example one here, but... It's just something that you can put at the bottom of all your notes to remind you what your notes are about. Uh, on the bottom of my vault, I have a, a sponge because I, it's, I just love soaking up knowledge. So it's up to you. Now, I'll put the source code on so that you can see the markdown tags here. Uh, and as you see, there's just one hash in front of the title, 
two in front of these ones. They're all heading two notes. And that one just the PKM image, of course. So if you take a screenshot of that, that'll give you the structure for setting up your own notes. So now we'll move on and have a look at how to actually use the note template. All right, well, with your note template saved, we're ready to start some notes. So if we open a new tab here and a new note, you can do that any way you wish. Remember, we've got to put the title in up the top here. So we'll just put in a test note, enter, and then we will just hit our Alt T and we will use our note template. And there it is, it's, it's in there. So now it's time to start filling it out. You can see it's put in the test note, same as the title there. It's got the date in, 19th of March, date the video was made, and it's ready to go. So if we put in our up, and let's say this is going back to the home note, I know that's it. Good. Um, it tags. Beg your pardon. Tags. Uh, we, we might say it's a concept. Uh, concept note. Uh, it could be an idea as well. Uh, alias. Uh, we won't worry about that today. Now, test note. What sparked the idea? Uh, this, what sparked the idea was a demo uh, for this video. Uh, links to on, online content is we'll put the YouTube uh, YouTube link in here later. And note, change the heading. Um, uh, note will be note on templates and note making. Uh, and then we'll, we'll just put in whatever you would like there. All right, edit. Remember that stays blank. There's nothing there to do. Other ideas uh, spark from the note. Well, perhaps we could do a uh, perhaps a uh, a note temp or a template. Let's say template on articles, uh, and then just article. Template. Right. Now, as you recall, I said I often go in and do that, so I'll just do an article template and then I'll just put in uh, here, I'll tell you again for a note template uh, and remind myself to do an article on that. Do that a reminder to do article template. So that way I've got that there. All right, so back to the other note. And that's done. That's really all there is to it. It's just a matter of filling it out, storing it, putting in your links, and it's all consistent. It's well laid out and uh, visually pleasant to look at. Hope that helps you. So having a note template will provide you with the structure and consistency needed for a good quality PKM. And you should be able to see with the suggested template that it provides you with the ability to search different terms, uh, give you a hierarchical structure, uh, good reference points and also helps you in future proofing your note so that you can find it again. So the online links are recorded in a prominent place where they can be easily accessed rather than being buried in the note. And the note can be easily searched by many methods uh, and should also spark some ideas for other notes. Now it should go without saying, but I'll say it anyway, that the template can be modified for your own personal use to reflect your particular needs. So give that some thought. What do you need? But try it with this one for a start and then see how that works out for you. So it should provide the basis for creating notes with a template and I hope it's been of great use to you. Cheers.